is the same view that your veterinarian got in our suspicious area was right here. Um, so we went ahead and got another view. Abdomen. So those are her limbs, and you can see what's happened to her bone. We have excess um, osteoclast deposition on all her peripheral bones, and that's what's leading to that thickening. And her front limbs would be the same way. Those are her rear limbs. see it a little bit better defined on the opposite lateral view and then on the view with her on her back there we go you can see a well-defined mass right here and that's in her right caudal lung okay. um, to determine to try to determine the tumor type um, via ultrasound we can go ahead and poke a needle um, into that and aspirate cells to give you a better idea if it's a pulmonary carcinoma, bronchogenic carcinoma versus osteosarcoma. Um, gives you a little bit better idea of overall prognosis if you're able to. Um, but the def definitive treatment, um, no matter what, um, would be to go in and resect that right caudal um, lung little. May or may not be curative. Um, depending upon if there's microscopic metastasis. We don't see anything obvious um, in the rest of the remainder of our lung, um, but sometimes there can be microscopic um, metastasis. Okay. Um, we also would want to stage her abdomen to make sure, uh, via ultrasound, to make sure we didn't see any tumors in her abdomen. Um, the cost of aspirating um, that would be $100. Um, the cost of an abdominal ultrasound would be $320 to do that. Um, the cost of surgery, I um, spoke with our surgery department, would be four to $4,500 um, for that type of surgery. It is a major surgery, and she'd be in the hospital for a few days because um, okay. they actually have to go into her um, chest cavity um, to remove that lung. And then, uh, like, what if you don't do the surgery? What's the prognosis for that? Or, like, uh, what's the, the treatment to, like, keep her comfortable? Or? Um, it would be pain medication um, and an injection of permidronate. They actually come in in the hospital, and the permidronate does nothing for this tumor. It helps with the peripheral limb swelling to reduce that osteoclast um, formation development in the peripheral limbs. And... Um, that's done um, about once every 21 to 28 days, and the cost of each treatment is $350 for that. Okay.